finally, Ria, I just wanted to ask a sort of general question with regard to to climate change, really, you know, being very much at the fore at the moment and, and a drive to reduce fossil fuels. So where do you see wood burning in the future? Well, that's a great question, Nick. And I think, you know, looking at the context of climate change and the challenge for us, you know, uh, across the UK is to find a genuinely sustainable, low carbon, low emission solution for heating going forwards. And when you put those criteria together, um, burning wood is a very low carbon, depending on exactly how the fuel is um, sourced, it can be carbon neutral, uh, but it's certainly a very low carbon solution. It's definitely sustainable uh, using a renewable uh, fuel source. And as we've been talking, considerable strides are being made in terms of reducing emissions and making it a low emission heating solution as well. So we believe that wood burning should be an integral part of the government's strategy going forwards in terms of reducing the reliance on fossil fuels and in moving us to a much lower net carbon zero uh, solution, which they have committed to. The other importance about wood burning is we see it working in conjunction with some key technologies. So, for example, if you look at heat pumps, which uh, are increasingly um, being talked about as a, as a future solution, and I think the government strategy is to encourage a greater take up of heat pumps, heat pumps are uh, a good solution where you're in a relatively steady state in terms of temperatures. Um, but they are not particularly strong in dealing with significant temperature variation. Um, and we live in a climate where temperatures can vary significantly day to day. Uh, and adding in a wood burning stove alongside a heat pump gives you the ability to respond to those short term temperature changes and also to provide genuine local space heating. And local space heating is important, particularly for those in fuel poverty, because it remains one of the most economic ways of heating um, mm. a space that you're in without any waste, without heating areas that, in the house that aren't being used at that particular point in time. And for the fuel poor, that's a very important consideration. And you know, there are plenty of studies out there that show the importance of wood burning in terms of fuel poverty. So we believe wood burning actually has, you know, um, a fairly bright future once all these things have been understood and put in context. And if the government is committed to finding a sustainable, low carbon, low emission heating future. 